Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What did you YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Anthem, and I know that the title is kind of worded weird, but the thing is, the open beta happens this weekend, and because the open beta happens this weekend, I'm trying to get to you guys and tell you guys all this information before YouTubers blow it out of proportion, before Twitter explodes, you know, everything like that, and before this game potentially has another bad weekend. So, so I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about that, but before we get into that, guys, I want to tell you guys that if you guys are into the channel, make sure you guys are checking the description or checking the link in the description down below so you guys can get registered to win a free copy of Anthem for the console and or PC of your choice. Now, with all of that out of the way, we're gonna get right into it. Okay, so Chad Robertson, which is the lead of service over there at Bioware, decided to take to Reddit today to actually tell us. Now this information's about two hours old, so it's still rather fresh, and I want you guys to go ahead and experience this with me as I tell you guys all about it. Now, I noticed a couple of key things that we're gonna talk about later on in the video, but for the most part, we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. Now, he says we're hard at work, here to be ready for our public demo weekend starting this week has been focused on improving the in player experience in the demo that focus was based on our learnings and your feedback so they're already listening to us they're already you know doing things like that making sure that the things that we've said they've taken notice they've actually improved some of the things now there are a couple of things that I don't know if they directly approved but like I said we'll talk about that in a moment he said, while we're confident that these changes will improve this weekend's experience for players, we're also cognizant that we may see re recurring and new issues. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. First things first, there is a big potential for there to be new glitches, things that are going to happen. But like it was said, it's a demo. They've ironed out a lot of our initial week one complaints. So as long as we're able to actually get in the game, which will, there's more to that in a moment, as long as we're actually able to actually get in the game, actually able to play it without a lot of blue screens, if you're on PlayStation or game crashes or things like that, you know, this is going to be already leagues better than the first one, but there still will be some reoccurring issues or re recurring issues and some issues that we haven't even seen before, potentially. Now, they're still going to have people working around the clock all weekend to make sure we have a very smooth experience, but... The idea behind it, guys, is to not freak out, to not go ahead and write it off. They're telling you they're coming up to it. They're trying to stop it before it happens. You know, before everything gets out of control, they're telling you right now, understand there might be problems. Now, I, I, it goes both ways. You could feel one way about it to like, oh, well, you know, why even do this then? Or you can feel the other way about it completely. I want to know how you guys feel about them just kind of, you know, trying to meet us. I feel like they're ta they've taken so many steps to try to make sure we're on the same base, you know, we're, we're, we're super on the same level uh, that they are. So everybody has the same general mindset. Now, he said our ongoing scaling test this week has gone well. We're confident we are ready for the load we will see like last weekend. We will be prepared with more server capacity than we anticipate will be needed. However, predicting player numbers, particularly for a new game like Anthem in its first open public weekend. Well, and I'm, it, it says first open public, so I'm just, I mean, I don't know. I, I hope, I hope. It would be awesome if they said, oh, hey, we're going to reactivate the servers for another weekend. But I, I might be reading too much into that. But we're, it's very difficult. If more players decide to try the game than we anticipate, we also have systems in place to control entry rates of incoming players. Now, I'm glad they went ahead and told us this. So, the, a good idea that we want to go ahead and do is to, to try to kind of get on the game as early as possible. Now, I know a lot of people aren't going to be able to do that based on the fact that they're going to, um, they're, they, you know, they have work and people have work, people have kids, people have all this stuff. So that the, the thing that you could probably do is if you can try to be there at, like as soon as possible, if you have the opportunity, if not nine times out of 10, it should be like most people work in general six seven hours all this stuff so it should be you know up and running you know effectively at least six to seven hours after the initial start time this has provided the fact that a lot of players might be playing it because uh, because that's the thing even though a lot of players did not like the way the first weekend went when they were were able to play it a lot of players said that they enjoyed the game a lot 
And so, that being said, that reverberated to a lot of people anticipating this game and really wanting to play it. So therefore, the idea comes from, we should, we should definitely think that there will be a good number of players. Literally thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of new players because it's open. So, if there were server issues then, and that was the VIP demo, I'm pretty sure there might be server issues with this one. Hopefully, they've done the right things that they need to. Like, I, like they said, uh, the scaling test went well, so we're going to see. Now, here comes the meaty, juicy stuff, the stuff that they did fix, what you guys probably want to know about most in this whole situation. Now, they had further performance improvements. Hopefully, it runs smoother. Maybe we'll get a glimpse at 60 FPS on next-gen consoles or uh, beefier consoles, PS4 Pro, Xbox One X, things like that. Additional stability fixes. There's fixes to inscriptions showing up incorrectly, inscriptions from other javelins being chosen, disappearing customization options, and fixes to XP gain behavior. I personally saw a lot of those glitches with the XP gain behavior because what happened was is that a lot of the times your mission would end and you wouldn't get any XP or things like that. And no, I wasn't max level at that time. After max level, it made sense for my XP bar to go up, but I'm talking around level levels 13 and 14. I was seeing a, like a severe like nothing would move and then I would log out of the game and I would log back in and then it would move so I'm hoping that that's what they mean by that audio improvements if you guys saw one of my pre prior videos this week I talked about how the audio improvements needed to be made like there needed to be audio improvements because there were times where it completely bottomed out there was times where you know there was no audio at all and so it it, it it led to some pretty weird moments so I'm really glad that they're fixing audio improvements I think audio is one thing that a lot of developers slack on so I'm really glad they're taking extra time to check that out improvements to PC controls including flight and aiming I play on console I don't play on PC so it's not really relevant for me but but guys the thing here is I heard a lot of people say that they kind of slacked on that and they needed to pay more attention to it. So hopefully you guys have gotten your much needed adjustments and you guys are going to be able to have fun with the game and the flight mechanics and the in-water mechanics and things like that. The social hub, the launch bay, it's finally here. So we get to experience that and with that, that excites me because I think about the other things that they could have potentially added into the game and I'm actually pretty, I'm like I'm even more excited if that's even humanly possible than I was already and i'm super anxious and i cannot wait for tomorrow like i cannot wait i'm super excited and they said they even fixed thousands of other glitches now that i feel like they should have left that out because to me i really feel like why did that release with thousands of glitches like i already know you know six week old demo okay fine fine but like thousands of glitches like damn but with all that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below, as well as click that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads. Make sure you're telling your friends, guys, about my videos because they can get signed up inside that free copy of Anthem giveaway as well. Everybody's happy. You guys have extra people to play with, and that would be dope. So, with all that being said, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.